Novak Djokovic won the 2023 Roland Garros and in doing so became the first player to win all slams three times and the only man to win 23 major titles. As always, Novak did it with style and class. Like many times before, he took the high road and was magnanimous towards people who disrespected, slandered and tried to hurt him. He is not only the greatest tennis player and arguably the greatest sportsman of all time, he is also a great man. I wish I was more like Novak, but I'm not. Not only because I don't play tennis like him, speak fluent French or own a private jet, but because I don't always take the high road. I like to argue, I hold grudges and I don't forgive and forget so easily. I know that these are not good qualities and that Novak wouldn't approve, but hey, at least I'm authentic. As millions of Novak's fans around the world, at this moment I am overjoyed by his success but I am also taking great pleasure in the suffering of his haters, long and painful may it be. They deserve it, as much as Novak deserves his win. Some of you commented that Novak's title should have an asterisk, just like Nadal's fake Australian Open. I won't even bother to explain how dumb that is. Speaking of dumb, several viewers asked that I apologize for making the wrong prediction about Nadal playing in Roland Garros. A few even suggested that I delete the video. First of all, it was a prediction, and predictions are sometimes wrong. It happens all the time. Secondly, that video is more than 3 minutes long and the prediction is only 5 seconds at the very end. Why should I erase all the good stuff that I said before? But fine, since these are tough times for Nadal fans and they want an apology, here it goes. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.